if you have a slow monoamine oxidase, that means the gene expression, the gene that turns on the manufacturing process for this enzyme, right? Little, little eaters, right? That means that you're not, the production is lower. And so you, if you have 100 units of a neurotransmitter, but you, and you need 100 units to break it down, that means you may only have like 50 units, depending on, you know, the genetic variant. Um, so if it's slow and you have 100 units in that gap and you only have 50 units, you're not breaking down the, the neurotransmitter properly and it's going to have a longer effect in that gap. So what are some symptoms of that slow? That means high neurotransmitter levels, right? So you can have aggressive behavior, antisocial behavior, confusion, extreme uh, agitation. And that's kind of a, uh, not necessarily aggressive, but you can be agitated, right? Not necessarily the same thing. GI distress uh, and muscle twitching. Now, each one of these, the GI distress, I would say, is definitely more with uh, serotonin specifically, because remember, we talked about that GI contraction, right, with that serotonin. So if it's higher, uh, higher amount of, so you got a higher amount of transmitter, lower amount of enzyme. So that's what you'll get that contraction if you have more of that stimulation.